Chloe, I'm jelly. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. <gasps> I'm so jealous. I go on to talk to this That's bitch. so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Wow. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Uh... Are you okay? Whales. I, I can't <laughs> get my limited brain around that Whoops. eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but... Even Miss Grant has no clue. Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now, I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Idiots. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. What? Hey, Brooke. I'm here. Uh, leave? I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. That's so... What? Hey, Brooke. I... Where was it? Nathan? I need to... Okay. Warren. Where was it? Really? You... I got That's like... so ironic that Warren asked Matt. Talk to you later, Max. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the uh, drive. -in. Okay, whatever. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Oh my Sad. god. Makes me uh, mad. Squirrel. Climate change isn't real mad. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, squirrel paparazzi? I'm fascinated. Uh, but I want to take a photo of you. I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. You're so scared. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. No, you weren't talking I'm about me. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Nathan? I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. Uh, stu study Just partner. Study partners. I can't believe he does have friends. That depends what your definition is. But I'd like to see more friendships at Blackwell, less bullying. Especially after this week. Me too, Miss Grant. So, you don't know where Nathan is? I saw him sulking off campus earlier. But you look like you have more on your mind than a question. Mm -hmm. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. <sighs> beyond science. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Prophecy? So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, 
You know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. Uh, I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. Kate, I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell needs... Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Yeah. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. Oh. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Hmm. Time to go clean. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Well, animals... I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Beached whales. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh, no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Aww, the birdies. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. Squirrels. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. <laughs> Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. No! Oh. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? take photo of you. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, squirrel paparazzi? Why aren't you gonna go eat there? What is this? Blur. 
Get that food in your belly. Samuel misses his squirrels. That is the most adorable photo I've ever taken. Achievement unlocked rangefinder. Duh. Hello, Max. Hello. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. What? Oh, great. Chloe stole money from the handicapped access fund. <sighs> We're going to hell. Well, what up? Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. <laughs> now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Oh, ho, ho. I didn't know, Chloe, that you appreciate male beauty. Let's see. Oh, it's been so long. Maybe I'll just play a little more and I just don't do the episode endings. Maybe? I don't know. 44 minutes. That's way too long for an episode. It's so lame. They don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Batmax? Now I just have to find Nathan's room. But I wanna look at you. There's Eagle Eye Chloe scoping out the area for Nathan. Now she sent it me it. Supermax, in case you still need it, Nathan's room number is one 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 one. Kitty, you're so awesome. Thank you. I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You already are a rebel. Trust me. Always. And please, please be careful. Promise? Of course. I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Max, what are you doing? Hurry up! God damn it, don't be so mad. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. Evan rolls. What's this? Who would steal cat pics? What? Oh, with my new tablet. Oh, but my tablet has a large picture files of my late cat's rip. So I will pay a cash reward, no question asked. Please, this is cats were my best friends. Aww. They have one more meeting left. Aww. And after what happened to Kate? Huh? I feel so bad for her and her family. That's why you're so hot. Because you care. I'm here with you, right? Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. Toilet paper. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Shit. Free glory, glory hole. Uh-huh. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Ugh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Mm. Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. <laughs> this just makes me think of Kate. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Aww. I can't go in. Probably not. 
Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kane. Who is the jock? Oh, you Bigfoots. And Nathan's. This can only be Nathan's room. gonna rewind so people cannot see now I need to find Nathan's phone or anything oh. with clues oh I did it Max now that David is not here I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much but that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad, but she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on you, Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. What? Oh, I just didn't check her messages before. Diploma? That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Oh. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Ooh. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk, or I'm going to tell everybody what you did, and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh, there was something else. That is so- Oh my god! Chloe! Oh, Chloe. What the fuck? Can't I fake that photo? Why would I put the music on? That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. What? Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That's so weird. Oh. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Holy shit, that's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Okay. Nathan likes his tortured subjects. Max, hurry up and find Nathan's room. These films all have a dark pattern. Ooh, what's that? Porn? Nathan Prescott, all American teen. I found his porn. Did I check the photos on the bed? Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. 
Victoria to Nathan. Hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going in and I'm picking up some serious pay pate favors. Yeah, I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Backwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, well then let's do it fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Deleted? Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Uh, Sean. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but now, for now let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you to calm and be quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know I'm being a press god is a burden and I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. So Christine is his sister. To the them from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all of my co-workers at the Peace Corps that my talented pro Nate got full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world, even though I can't always check my mail or phone. Please, 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 please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have either ignore him or stand up to him. You know, I love dad, but Nate, but I'm also in jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one of just family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove, sending you good out good thoughts. Better write back or I have a Jaguar ship to your dorm. XOXO Chris. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Oh. And that's it? That's fucking it. This is all I can get from here. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Can I move the sofa? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Whose phone is that? Now I have Nick. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but... Once again, the Prescott's rule. Cool, now it's opened. So, I didn't break it. Hey, psst. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. It wasn't that clean. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, oh. uh. Stop, Warren. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? 
You and you, you're all dead. Let's go now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. I could have just ignored it. <laughs> Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. Don't. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. You're screwed, Nathan. Man, that I guy mean... is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Well, he wants his Frank money. always answers when he wants money. Yeah. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Ooh, so we can go talk with Frankie. Okay, I'll end this session in here. It's been one hour, so I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye!